once you've created some email templates, uh, e you can also uh, create email follow-ups. So if you'll notice that I've got five emails here, these are actually emails that come set up for Estimate Rocket by default. So I happen to have five follow-up emails. The way the follow-up emails get used generally is in follow-up campaigns. So these are the Estimate Rocket has the capability of doing automatic email follow-ups, one of the most powerful features of Estimate Rocket, so that at each step of the project, you can have an automatic communication that's going to go out to your customer or a manual communication that's going to go out to your customer, and you won't have to lift a finger to do it. So pending acceptance is when we're, we've sent the proposal to the customer, we're waiting for them to accept it. This is a campaign, probably the most important uh, marketing or follow-up campaign that there is to basically get your customer to commit and make a decision and go with your company. So in this case, you can see that the email template is set up uh, for pending acceptance. There are two options. There's a manual and an automatic option. This simply means that when the project advances to the stage of waiting for the customer to accept, if it's automatic, this campaign will automatically start. If it's manual, there'll be a button that you need to click in order to start the campaign. So that just controls whether a campaign happens just by virtue of getting to that place in the project or whether you actually just need to click a button to make it happen. And using the maintenance here, you can add additional campaign emails if you want to. You can remove campaign emails. And you can control when those emails are going to get sent. I think the defaults for Estimate Rocket are we send an email, a second email after two days, seven days, 14, 28, and 320 days. We'll try to catch them next year if we don't get them this year. So again, follow-up campaigns, extremely powerful, great time saver. One of my favorite campaigns is actually the Project Complete campaign. So how many of you send something out at the end of your project to the customer to ask them you know, if they're happy with your work or to give you a referral or to give you a review? That can be automatically generated as soon as the project is complete. Go right out to your customer instantly. Uh, and, and you can also do long-term follow-ups. So you can have a, an email that goes out a year after the project or six months or whatever duration you want and as many as you want. So it's up to you how you build those campaigns. The other thing that you can get to in the follow-up campaigns is over in the on the right, you'll notice that there are some numbers next to these um, to each campaign. So currently, this just tells you that there's uh, 23 active projects in the pending acceptance campaign, and this link will actually bring you to them. So if for some reason you want to track down who's got an active campaign uh, in each of the campaigns, you can use this link to actually go look at what projects uh, have that campaign set up. So here, and then I can drill in, for example, I can drill into this project, and maybe he's decided he's not gonna do it, and I just wanna, this one looks like it's only got one campaign email left, that's probably my 320 day one, but I can come in here and I can just use the stop campaign button, and that's gonna stop that campaign, so no more emails will go out to that client on that campaign. So that start and stop campaign button, again, powerful tool to let you uh, make the adjustments that you need uh, and then you can come back and you know go down the list if you need to make any other adjustments on those.